basically the reason why I thought about this presentation or this training is because most of us when we come into a business like this, we actually do not, uh, we come from different backgrounds. Um, some of us are, you know, stay at home moms, some of us work, um, you know, still doing three jobs, four jobs. And so when we come into a business like this, it's, it takes a different mindset to get us thinking like a business owner. So this is all about giving you tips to equip you so that every single day you don't forget that you are an FM distributor but also a business owner. Next slide, please. Can my handy assistants please help me to get to my next slide? Click. Get us, are you still there? Next slide, please. Yeah, I'll just disable my Skype because my Skype is preventing me. It's free, freezing the slide, so I'm just quickly disable that. Oh, I see. I'm going to be back okay. on the screen. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Should see that right now. Okay. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, could you go back? All right. Brilliant. Thank you. All right. So, are you always open for business? Right? Now this is a question that you have to ask yourself. Every single day, no matter where you are, no matter if you go to work or you, you're a stay-at-home stay mom, do not forget that you're a business owner. Now why is that important? Well, next slide, uh, next, just click um, enter please, get us. Um, why is this important? Well, really, like this sign says, you know, some people are open you know, from 9 or 10, occasionally as early as 7, but some days as late as 12 or 1, and we close about 5.30 or 6. As you can see from, the, from that slide, which is meant to be a really funny one, it, it shows that, um, you know, some, you're not open all the time, you're not thinking about your business every single minute of the time. You're not thinking about your business or being conscious. Let me not say thinking about it every single minute, but at least being conscious that I am a business owner. So every single time you see an opportunity, you, you're open for that business and you're open to take the opportunity. Okay? All right, next, next slide. I think it's not working well. Okay. Are you always open for business? Because I think there was something on that previous slide, but um, I might have missed that. Are you always open for business? Well, every day is an opportunity to meet a new, new business prospect or a customer. You're always going you know, to places where there are people who are new in your workplace, or if you go and pick up children from school, you meet new moms. You know, wherever you are, if you're going into the lift, you know, there are people entering the lift. Say hello, make friends because you always meet people every day. Click next click, please. Also, if you're closed for business, they will take their business elsewhere. So you need to think like a business owner. Now, when I'm talking about this, I'm also talking about not just the retailing part of it, but also if you're building a business. If you don't actually offer the business to them, you will find that you will go to a conference one day and your cousin is in somebody else's business or you know, somebody that you know, your neighbor is in somebody else's business. It has happened to so many people. So if you close for business, you know, they'll take their business elsewhere. Next click, please. You need to maintain those that you already have. So that is why you need to be always open for business because if you don't look after them, the, what, either the customers that you have or the team that you have built, if you don't look after them, again, you will lose them. So always think about your team, how you can help your team, how you can uh, help your customer. Always have that at the back of your mind each day. Next click, please. You can miss on making that sale or registering your next diamond if you're not open for business every single day because you don't know who it is. Like uh, Geta said when he was doing his presentation, who is it that joins this business? You know, everyone, everyone, your doctor, your lawyer, anyone, don't be afraid to approach them because in these current um, circumstances uh, with, with our climate, uh, uh, you know, um, right now, we are lo everybody's looking to, for making much more money. Even those who, are, who seem to be wealthy um, are still looking of, 
different um, uh, revenue streams to make more money. So always be open for business. Next click, please. Now, so what does your competition do? Now, this is very important for you to start thinking about what the competition does, okay? Because we are in competition with other, you know, uh, either um, uh, network marketing businesses or either um, people who have similar products to, our, to us. So first of all, who are the competition? Next click. Well, next, the competition are other network marketing companies. Next click. Uh, direct sales, e.g. Avon, they go door to door, but they are also in competition with you. Shops on the high streets, they are all in competition with you. And what does your, com and what does your competition do? Well, next click. You need to think about what they do because they plan ahead. Now, imagine we only spend um, 50 pounds at most to buy kits, right? But they have spent thousands and thousands of pounds, pounds to you know, open up their businesses. So if they don't invest and plan ahead, their businesses will fail. So what do they do? Now, this is a few tips here. They plan ahead. January sales. Now, January sales, they don't think about January sales when it is January. They start planning for the January sales in December. Can we offer our customer January sales? Of course we can. We can contact all our team members and contact all our customers and tell them of our stock, you know, while stocks last sales. We can do sales all the time. Next click. Valentine's. Did you, did you capitalize on the Valentine's that has just gone? Because if you didn't, the shops did. Your competition did. Now, what did they do? Be way in January or December or you know sometime early in January, they started to talk to people about Valentine's. They started to talk to their customers about Valentine's. And if you didn't, guess what? They will go elsewhere. They will go to the shops to get the perfect gifts you know, for their loved ones. Click. Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming up. Have you got your Mother's Day's orders? I have already got one client that I'm, uh, that I'm delivering to tomorrow, and that's for Mother's Day. Are you promoting to them? Are you telling them Mother's Day is coming up? Let me help you get your Mother's Day gift. Are you sharing this information with your team? Are you telling them how to promote and go to, you know, go, go and talk to all their customers? Do they have a database of their customers? That's all very important. You know, men don't know what to do, so speak to them. You know, most men don't know what to do, they're very confused, so go and speak to them and give them ideas of what kind of gifts that they can get for their mothers, for their Mother's Day. Click. And then there is Easter. Click. And Father's Day. Now, Father's Day, you know, we ladies know Father's Day, birthday, click, anniversaries, I think that's the one coming up, weddings, yeah anniversaries, all these are opportunities for us to really make sure that you know, we have a database where we are uh, uh, capturing the information of our customers, of our team, and then we're, going, we're remembering the Father's Days, we're remembering their birthdays, their weddings, their anniversaries, and we're speaking to them and saying, oh, I, get, I see your, wed your wedding anniversary is coming up especially the men again, sorry to pick on you guys, but you know you can make that suggestion to them and say, how about I make you a suggestion on how to get a wonderful gift for your lovely wife, surprise her that you remembered your anniversary. He will thank you so much for even remembering. Okay, click. Oh, and Christmas. Okay, that's, ob that's an obvious one. So what does your competition do? Click. Well, they advertise, they promote, and they recommend, okay? Now, uh, if you have this fear of sales, well, join the club. Everyone, most 95% of the people hate, hate say, selling, okay? But we're not asking you to sell. What we're asking you to do is promote, recommend. You do that all the time. You share information all the time. You like something, you promote it. You share it with your friends. You share it with neighbors. That is all we're asking you to do. And that is what your competition does very well, if I might say. So click. Now, learn the language that they use. The words like, click, 
unique, state of the art, exclusive. I heard Geddes use some for the makeup when he said elegant and classic. You know, he was selling the makeup so well, I, I started to think he must have been using it himself. You know, but he was using these words and he learned the words because these are the words that our competition use. Now for FM, we have a fantastic selling point. That is 20% of our perfumes are at, um, um, all our perfumes are at 20% concentration and at affordable prices. Okay, so you find the, the you know, the words that you need to use because they're using. Now, you know our pheromones. Look at what they're using. This is our competition and they are using these type of sensual images to describe their perfumes. What are you using? When you are describing perfumes, our, our um, pheromones range, what are you using? Well, you don't want to give them false alarms, so if you go to the next, <laughs> sorry, go back to that lovely Colgate smile. Just click once, one click, yes. They use humor as well because your competition is using humor. You know, I didn't find one uh, a perfume uh, adverts that use humor, but yes, you know, other competitions are using humor. So why not you as well? Next click, please. Okay, so what does your competition do? Still on that, we they provide customer service, and customer service is so so important. As a business owner, you are providing your customers consultation. You're giving them that extra personal touch, one-on-one -on -one consultation with them. You know, you, you are generating referrals. That's what your competition does. You always ask them, is there anybody else that you know that loves perfumes that I can speak to? Is there anybody else that you know is looking to make an extra income? you know, that wants to supplement their income that I can introduce to. So always ask for, for, for referrals. Special offers and new releases. As soon as the um, new releases are coming out, are you talking to your team? Are you talking to, the, uh, to your customers about them? You know, are you going to them? Because if you don't, that's, that's your selling point. You've missed an opportunity to, you know, to talk to your customers about the new releases. Next click, please. Now, we want to give them special offers that really count and not special offers that don't mean a thing, like special, special offer, drinks for the price of two, two drinks for the price of two drinks. That isn't a special offer, but you want to give your customers real, genuine special offers. Next click. So be proud of your business. After all, if you're not proud, who will? Nobody is going to be proud of your business. Nobody is going to be proud of your own perfumes unless you take charge and become very proud. Go and if you're not proud of your business, go to, a, um, go to the shops, walk around the perfume counters and look at the bottles that they have there. Any of our bottles can, can stand on those stands and they will outshine most of the bottles that are there. There's nothing spectacular about any of the so-called designer brands. FM is a designer. So if you want, if you're not proud of your business, who else is going to be? Next click, please. Be your own best customer. If you don't use your own products, you are not going to be able to talk about them passionately. Use them. Find the ones that you, you know, you really love. Find the ones that you, appeal to you. You will be able to sell those. And once you can sell one or two, you'll be able to sell everything else. Okay? And I'm, I'm talking about use everything your product, even our home, home range, the makeup range, you know, um, the, the perfume range, use everything. Your pets, the pet range, if you don't have pets, get your neighbors or friends to use them. If, once you do that, your confidence will grow. You will find that your confidence will build, your business will grow, and guess what? Your bank account will grow, all right? And who knows? Next click. You could just have retire happily ever after. That's the end of my presentation. I hope it was short and sweet, and I hand you back to get